So I'm Ted Jordan and some folks have been asking, is there a way to use WinSCP as a file manager for backups? And I discovered a method that works for me and that is I have to have a virtual machine set up running Linux and what I'm going to show today is using CentOS, the CentOS version, but this will work fine with CentOS with Ubuntu with Debian and I'm booting my Linux system now on my virtual machine I'm running a virtual machine on top of a Windows host and the first part is that I'm going to show here is getting the USB connected properly from my uh, Seagate hard drive. I've got a five terabyte hard drive that I'll do the backup onto. So I need to make sure that drive is connected correctly to the virtual machine. And then from the Windows machine, I'll do the Win SCP and I'll then back up the files to the hard drive by way of the CentOS Linux machine. But again, this could be Ubuntu, this could be Debian, this could be Mint. You could use Fedora. Pretty much any version of Linux should work, including SUSE or even OpenSUSE. So the first issue I have, which comes up here shortly, is that the hard drive does not mount because it's not recognized within the virtual machine. Try as I might, I'm unable to get the hard drive to be recognized on the virtual machine. So what I've decided to do was remove the current extension pack and maybe there's an updated one. So I'm going to go ahead and update using the a later extension pack and hopefully that will fix my problem. And so I go, I've shut the machine down, I go into preferences and remove the extension pack. And then I'll, uh, the extension pack provides support for the USB devices. And so I'll go ahead and I'll install this again as we show here. And All right, so I go ahead and I install the new extension pack to see if this resolves the issue. And then I'll go ahead and, and boot, <coughs> boot my Linux system again. I also want to double check and make sure that the hard drive is not mounted on the Windows system. So I just go ahead and click the up box just to see if it's mounted. It is not. And I'll go ahead and double check that the extension got installed. We're good to go. And then I'll boot the system. See I'm running version 5.6.2. And I'll go ahead and boot the system again. So that now that I'm up and running, I'm going to log in as root again. But again, I look through the 
uh, file manager on Windows and I can see that the hard drive still did not did not mount again even though I quote unquote upgraded the um, extension pack which was probably the same version but so and I can see here I see the computer but I don't see again the hard drive so let me go ahead and continue debugging Now what one of the documents stated was if you go into the USB settings, make sure that the I've got it set for USB 2 and make sure that the device when you edit it that only the first three lines have data populated. That's the vendor ID, product ID, and the name. Just those three lines should be populated. Delete everything else. So I did that hoping that would resolve the issue. And again, of course, I have no luck there. So let me go on to uh, my next step. So after a graceful shutdown, I power off the virtual machine, my Linux virtual machine again. And again, OpenSUSE, you can use OpenSUSE as well to do this. And I'll go back into my USB devices. Now, what I noticed was that I was, um, I said, you know what, let me try this because I had set up my USB devices on USB 2. Even though I had plugged into a USB 3 port, I had it set for USB 2 because they said that would work better and it would fall back to the USB 2 when I did my research. So what I decided to do this time though was go ahead and set it up for USB 3 and uh, we go ahead and reboot the system. This ends up for me being the solution. So let's go ahead and watch how this boots and see how the drive gets added on. So here, we can see if we go to devices, we can see that uh, we can go ahead and connect the Seagate drive, my external hard drive. And once I click on computer, I can see that the drive is actually recognized this time. You can see that Seagate shows up. My five terabyte drive shows up, but the only downside is that is still unable to use it and that's because I do not have the NTFS drivers uh, which Windows uses the NTFS file system. By default Linux will use an XFS file system or an EXT4 file system Linux also can use the Butter file system BTRFS and uh, there even there's one provided by Solaris called ZFS that's also available on Linux as well. And most Linuxes do not use NTFS um, just because NTFS is closed source and owned by Microsoft. And so these open source versions allow for more eyeballs to look at it and better chance to see if there are bugs or if there are any other issues. So what I've got to do now is to fix this is install the NTFS drivers on Linux so that it can read and write to the this new hard drive, the five terabyte hard drive. So we're going to do that now.